What's going on guys, Phil Daru back again with another video. I'm here at Treasure Coast Barbell, Daru Fitness Performance Systems Training Center, our new center. Today though, I'm gonna go over a body weight workout for mixed martial arts. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about, I don't have a lot of equipment, I don't have the necessary tools or the weights to actually gain some strength and overall athleticism and conditioning for the sport of mixed martial arts. So fear not, I got your answer. So today we're gonna to be going over a lactic conditioning session. This is for basic lactic capacity so that you could be strong throughout the entire time of the fight. All right, let's make it happen. All right guys, so for the MMA bodyweight workout, first and foremost, we gotta go over the focus points. So today we're gonna to be working through that lactic system of training, primarily the lactic capacity. Okay, so the focus points are going to be using large muscle groups to recruit fast twitch muscle fibers to enhance the ability to produce force for that long duration. You also wanna use moderate tempo because we are gonna be going a little bit longer. The, uh, the exercises are going to be very ballistic or explosive for 30 seconds, so make sure that the moderate pace is sustained, okay? You also want to utilize a mixture of strength exercises, ballistics, and MMA style drills. Now we're gonna be going over that when I start the workout, when I start to get the sweat on, and when I start to really get after it. Now this is the first time I've been doing this since I ended my meet for powerlifting, so it should be fun. But that's what you wanna really focus on, are those style of exercises. Okay, we wanna basically look to improve upon lactic capacity that can increase the ability to buffer lactic, which will develop more overall work capacity, right? We talked about this in my last video where we were doing lactic power work, where we wanted to buffer that lactic out as much as possible so that you could be strong for the duration of the fight, okay? We're also gonna make sure that we're producing a fast rate of ATP turnover, right? That identity triphosphate, the body's natural energy source. If you have that turnover faster throughout the fight, you be able to have more intense bouts of energy throughout that time frame, right? We wanna increase the level of blood lactate, which will develop more overall work capacity inside the fight. The more you work, the more active you are, the better you're gonna be, the more dominant you are gonna be in the fight. All right, let's go over this whole entire workout and the exercises that we're gonna utilize. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get on to our workout, all right? We're gonna be doing one to two minutes of work right, with explosive exercises for each series. We're gonna do the frequency is going to be around two to three times per week. Each uh, series is going to have three exercises in it, so it will end up being 90 seconds long with a one minute recovery, all right? Like I said, each exercise is going to be highly ballistic or explosive, and then a core variation too as well. All right, let's get into this.
Gonna get into our first series. We're gonna do jump squats. We're gonna do a push up to sit out. And I'm gonna finish with hanging leg raises. 30 seconds each, one minute recovery. Series one, let's do it.
Okay, so after you're done with that, you can do either two to three series of that. So it's 90 seconds for each series. It's about 27 minutes total, all right? What you wanna do is you wanna either manage your output. So if you start slowing down, if you start to die out, take a little bit more time to rest. You can go up to three minutes of rest. All right, so one to three minutes in between each series. Do at least two to three series all the way through. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over each exercise so you guys understand it entirely so that when you go to do this overall workout, you know what to do as far as the exercise goes for efficiency. So for the first one, we're gonna do the regular jump squat. All right, so for the jump squat, we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart. Hands are gonna start at up position, all right, with the triple extension. From there, you're gonna drop down, hip hinge, and then drive your arm back up, jump up in a straight line. So up, okay? Make sure as soon as you hit the ground, you pop right back up. On to the next one. Okay, so for the next one is going to be a push up to a sit out. Now with the push up, I want it to be as explosive as possible, but in control. Let's bring those elbows in. We're not gonna flare the elbows way out because when you're talking about MMA, right? We wanna make sure that our anterior delt and our tricep are stronger, not just our pecs. So we're gonna bring our hands in, our elbows in, a little bit tighter right here. So it looks like you're, uh, if I'm looking down at you, you should look like an arrow with your arms. You're gonna pop back up. You're gonna twist through, get that sit out, look up for a peek out then back down into the push-up. So it looks like this. All right, so get in a push-up position, right? You're coming down, drive up, you sit through, you peek out. Push-up, sit through, peek out. Okay, explosive, fast. All right, so for the next one is going to be hanging leg raises. You can do them from the floor if you don't have a bar but I just like to do it hanging because I get lat activation. I can hollow out my body a little bit better, but you can do it on the floor. So this is what the hanging leg raise looks like. Up, tighten up the lat, hollow the body, point the toes, you're gonna drive up, come back down. Drive up. So, okay, so after your Rest for one to three minutes. We're going on to series two, which is going to be a sprawl to a broad jump for the first exercise. So this is what it looks like. Get in your fight stance. From here, you're gonna hit your sprawl. Down, get in a good position. Jump, land, back to position. Sprawl, good position, jump, land, and repeat the process. Okay, the next one is going to be a push-up to groiners. So you're gonna get a push-up just like we did with the push-up sit out. Same hand position, same elbow position. Then you're gonna drive your leg up to your hand and then back out, then switch sides. Here, here's what it looks like. Push up, drive, leg comes up. Back out, drive, leg comes up. Okay? Make sure you try to keep a neutral spine. Make sure you try to drive that leg up as high as you can. Working the muscles of the hip flexors, the psoas, and then obviously you're working your triceps, your delts, your upper body pressing. On to the next one. Okay, so for the last one for series two is gonna be a Russian twist. With the Russian twist, I want you to use your hands. So you're gonna place your hands on your obliques. Elbows are gonna be flared out. Chest is gonna be tall. We're gonna twist with our, our legs off the ground and uh, making sure that you're staying in good position. You're not crunched over. So here it goes. All right, legs up, hands on the obliques, chest up. We're gonna twist. Maintain position, we're not crouched over like here. Chest is tall and we're rotating, all right? On to series three. All right, so for series three, after your one to three minute rest, we're gonna be going into a jump lunge, right? So you wanna make sure that you have a neutral spine posture, you're jumping with high velocity, you're jumping with a lot of force from the ground, and you're redirecting that force so it's a lot of stretch reflex. So here it goes. Okay, stagger the feet, arms are up, jump up, switch, jump up, switch, jump up, switch. Quick, quick. All right, full extension, full range of motion. All right, second one's gonna be a pike push-up. So you're gonna do the same push-up position. Right now we're just driving our hips up, going back down, back up, working the muscles of the chest and then also the anterior delt. Here we go. Push-up. Pike, head goes through, back down. Okay. 
Okay, so for series three, the last exercise is going to be a simple V sit up. So your legs are gonna be spread out in the V position. Arms are gonna be up high, straight out. You're gonna go ahead and sit up through, keeping a neutral spine all the way through the movement. Here we go. All right guys, so you've seen the workout, you've seen me get after it. Now, if you have any questions, you know what to do, hit the comments below, I'll be sure to answer them. I'm also gonna put the entire workout in the link in the description, and I'll be coming out with a series workout plan for body weight MMA workouts, whether you're a wrestler, whether you're an MMA practitioner, whether you're a kickboxer, whatever the case may be, all combat sports orientated. That's coming out soon, so be on the lookout. Again, if you like this video, please let me know, hit the like button. Also, if you haven't done so yet, hit the notifications so you know when my videos come out. I'll be trying to bang out at least three to four of them a week. I'm the new guy on the block, like I said before, so I'm trying to make this thing happen. Go ahead and hit the subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you next time. Cool.